Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna be talking about this awesome Road Trek 190 Popular. And boy, have these names really, you know, kind of fulfilled itself these days because they are popular. And for a good reason is just how awesome they are. We're gonna get into talking about some of the things that we did that you might really just fall in love with. have this beautiful skirting that goes along the whole bottom side of this. Now this is also going to hide a lot of the components underneath it like your tank and your battery. The biggest fear that we hear from a lot of customers is, man, my road track sits really low to the ground and you can see now that we're almost a foot off the ground here and it sits low. I'm worried about dragging it. I'm worried about ripping this skirting off. Even if you don't plan on going off-roading, that's always a fear and if I'm right, Leave a comment down below and let me know, have you ripped yours off or is it something that you worry about? So in this video, we're gonna talk about all the benefits of doing some of the suspension packages that we offer here at WeldTech Designs. On this particular Road Trek 190 Popular, we did do a five inch kit and not only is it going to gain you a lot of ground clearance, but it's also gonna give you a better ride. If you do like to go to any kind of remote area, you like the boondock camp, or you just like to head down graded roads, well, here's one thing that is always going to help, and that's gonna be running a larger tire. So on this particular build, we did do a 265 70 17, and that's gonna be wrapped in this really nice machine polished 301 method race wheel. I mean, this thing really looks beautiful on here. Well, you may be saying, well, I can't fit that size tire on my road track. I barely have any clearance as it is. Well, that's no problem for us here because we do have options for you. Starting with, you can do just a three inch spindle to gain you a little bit of additional ground clearance, or you can do like a five inch kit like we've done on this particular one, which is gonna be our three inch lift spindle and our coil spacer. Now, of course, we don't just leave it there. We did add our Fox shocks to the front of this as well because we want to be able to control all those bumps and that highway driving and give you a really nice ride. Three key components in order to gain all of this clearance uh, on the front of this, which is just going to be, I mean, this thing is awesome. I really like it. And not to mention it's going to handle just so much better. So. We didn't stop there. We're gonna to head to the back and talk about what we did in the rear. So as we come to the back of this, another thing you're gonna notice is how much room is below the skirting. A ton of clearance in here, so you're not gonna worry about dragging that. Also in this wheel well, a ton of clearance in there as well. You don't have to worry about that wheel taking out your uh, all of the skirting on here. Now, the way that we achieve this lift in the rear is going to be our progressive leaf spring. Now, what's really nice about the progressive spring is not only does it have more leaves, but the leaves, the spring pack, is actually built to the weight of the road track from the factory, just had an add a leaf in there to try to accommodate for the weight, but it, we find that most of the time it was pretty inadequate. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to control the ride on the rear of this as well. So we did do the Fox shocks in the back of it. I mean, this thing has a ton of room. I really like it because when you look under here, a lot of these are gonna have the generator, the propane, all in the back, and you can just see how much room is available back there. I mean, that is really nice. That is, that is in itself worth it because if you have tried to replace any panels or look at what these cost, they're probably far more than some of the suspension components that we put on this. Well, we didn't stop there. We still got some more to show you. Come with me. All right, you know that when you get on some of these stretches of highway, they just become pitch black and really difficult to see, especially on the sides of the road. Now, technically these aren't really a highway light, but heck, when you're out there all by yourself, it definitely is really beneficial having more light. And of course, if you're gonna be on the trail, these pod mounts right in front of your windshield are going to be amazing, giving you that little bit of light and you can kind of direct this in the area that you want. Typically, I'll just put this slightly off where maybe my headlights wouldn't quite capture that corner and I want to see that maybe, you know, wildlife loves to jump out in front of you. But overall, that's going to be a nice fluted light force light in order to give you a lot more lighting than just your headlights. Well, we didn't stop there, guys. We kept adding more light, and that is gonna be strategically 
Look at that, just stealth like behind the grill of this. And you can see, I mean, that is awesome. So we're running like a 20 inch light bar behind the grill. You have different options available, but what's really nice is it also makes it difficult to steal. And you may be thinking like, what? Who's gonna steal lights? And unfortunately, it's something that happens. And especially when you're running, you know, a few hundred dollar light on the front of your van, you don't want to, you know, wake up in the morning and it's gone. So that's going to be really nice. And that's hidden behind the grill. I mean, this thing is awesome. I'm going to go flip these things on so you can see how nice they are. There they are all lit up. And of course, well, yeah, it's the morning and you can't really tell, but you get an idea. And I really want you to see how big that light bar is. That thing is going to be really nice. And again, as we pop our heads up and let's take a look at those windshield pod mounts, those things are lit up now. A couple great simple things that you can add, whether you put a suspension kit from Weld Tech Designs on your van or you just need more lighting, we got you covered. There's so many small features that we're not even really going over, but having that like seamless awning into the side of it, you barely even notice it's there. It's also going to have that higher top on there and making it nicer to stand up in there. So now my question to you guys is, would you prefer a top like this that's fixed or do you like the pop top better? Now, of course, with the pop top, you can't stand up in it unless you pop the top. Of course, there are some other options available, but I would like to know what you guys prefer, a fixed top or the pop top, you know? I have the pop top on mine. I've kind of been enjoying it, but you know, I sometimes I question, like, should have I done something else? You never know. But anyways, guys, a lot of really cool things that went into giving this Road Trek 190 a lot more ground clearance, making it more capable um, to get to those places that you want to get to, as well as improving that highway driving by doing the progressive springs with the Fox shocks. A lot of really nice components, but still simple. Maybe you'll see this van again. He keeps saying he's going to come back and put an awesome set of WeldTech bumpers on it. That would be really cool. And if you have any questions about anything that we talked about in this video, please leave a comment down below. Guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Jeremy from WeldTech Designs. I'll see you guys in the next video.